It was a matchup of Northwoods teams today as the Class A Boys State Basketball Tournament officially kicked off. In their first trip since 2012, Browerville Eagle Valley took on Red Lake, who is in state for the third straight year, but looking for their first state tourney win since 2003. In the first, Red Lake with the ball, the pass outside to Jamie Cook, and he hits from deep, and Red Lake would jump out to the early 10-1 lead. Later, Browerville Eagle Valley's rainbow pass from Ryan Warwick to Brendan Emery puts up two for the Tigers. Tiger ball now again. The pass exchange gets mixed up, and Will Morrison gets a hand on it, takes it down the court, throws it up, and gets the bucket and the foul. But Bryce Ersfeld for the Tigers would break away to the key. He sinks the three. Browerville Eagle Valley would trail 37-26 to at the half. In the second, Warriors get the rebound. Pass down low to Sonny Martin. He keeps Red Lake on top. And then Tigers climb back. Trevor Johnson banks this shot off the glass. Barville Eagle Valley down just four. But Red Lake would run away with this one, working to stay in this shedding clock time. Martin with a shot. No good. He gets his own rebound, then throws it back up for two more points. And Red Lake goes on to win by a final of 66 to 52. They move on to play tomorrow. Here's both teams after the game. They start hitting their threes. We start missing our free throws. You know, I was telling our guys, I said, we just can't put it away. Let's just, let's just close the door. Let's, let's, let's win this. You know, and but you know, give Browerville credit. They start hitting some shots, and you know, we missed free throws, and it was a good game. For me personally, it's a big sigh of relief because playing here two years or three years in a row now, in the past two years, I couldn't get over it. But this is my junior year, and I finally was able to get over the first round. And now I'm on to the Target Center with my with my friends and with my coaches and my family. Yeah, we gave them too many open looks on their end. Uh, but they hit the shots. I mean, there's not much you can do about that other than, you know, when we, when we did tighten up defensively, uh, we worked our way right back, you know, the score back down to where it was acceptable. Uh, but you just can't let them get an open look because they're, they're good shooters. When you're even with like each eight, nine points, that's not going to do a lot. we got to get evens, you know, in that 15 to 17 range mark. And we didn't do that. Everyone just kind of was out of their rhythm today. And that's huge credit to Red Lake. They played extremely tough defense and put the pressure on us with making all their shots. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.